uh, hi everyone and welcome back here we will go through some angular quiz and try to see how many uh, of the questions we can answer so we are starting from first question a directive which modifies term hierarchy is called structural or behavioral it should be a structural directive like ng4 ngf that modifies the the hierarchy or a hierarchy of a DOM. Select correct form control class name which is set to true via ng model whenever value is modified. Okay, so it's about form validation and there are different classes ng pristine, ng valid, ng invalid, dirty. So whenever you change a property, it converts to ng dirty. Okay, now coming to the next question. If you provide a custom service into two component providers, okay, in, in the two component provider sections of a component decorator, how many instances of service will get created? So it's not a singleton. If you are adding that service independently in the providers of a sec providers of a component, then a different instance will be created. So answer will be two. Two. Yeah, custom type can modify the actual value of variable apart from different representation in HTML. Yes, custom pipe is okay. Wait a second. So custom pipe, what it does is it modifies the the value for the representation, but not the actual value on the which we are getting from somewhere. Okay. In Angular routing, below tag is used to render the matched component via active route. So that is route routelet. Going to the next question, we need to call below method of router module for providing all routes in app module. So we have four root. That is correct. So these are one liner questions which you should be aware of whenever you deal with the Angular. Async pipe subscribes to observer and update expression whenever there is a change in the data from observer. That is correct. This is what async pipe does. Below command is used to run static code analysis of Angular application, so npm run lint. That is correct. And we can chain multiple pipes in a single expression along with async pipe. So you can put a multiple pipes for one is async pipe. Once the data is received, you can use a normal pipes to transform the data. Below component represents target host DOM element inside a directives constructor. Yeah, element reference we use to inspect it. That is correct. Now directives can listen to the host target event using host listener. That the answer should be host listener. Uh, I just need to make a correction here. Below service can be used to extract route parameter inside a component. Yes, activate read route. HTTP service get put post delete function returns observable. Observer sends data to the multiple clients via pitch method. So whenever we need to emit some data, you can do uh, observable dot next to that will unicast the data. Okay, by default component chain detection strategy is set to default until unless you change it to on push. So default is default. I mean the, the default chain detection strategy is default until unless you manually change it to on push okay to use HTTP client module you need to import uh, below module so you need to import HTTP client module a component can have a child routes defined using which property children okay in AOT compilation mode browser gets angular compiler along with website content that is false I mean both the options are false yeah so uh, I think some of them I need to do correction but I explained it ex explained the right answer what should be the right answer for those questions okay that's all about angular I have some more uh, quiz questions which is about general JavaScript which we will talk in a separate video